Okay, just uh, some concerns I have with uh, climate change. So there's this giant crater in the permafrost in Siberia. So it's the, uh, the Arctic Circle, and it's getting bigger. And this article is from two years ago, February 24th from BBC. Uh, what's concerning is that the size of it. The crater is also known as the Mega Slump, and it's the largest of its kind. One kilometer long, 86 meters deep. But these figures will soon change because it's growing quickly. That was two years ago. I'll give you an idea. Let's check out these pictures. It's just um, crazy big. Look at the people down here. So anyways, the, uh, there's a lot going on in the, in the north. This is another article here. Uh, it's dealing with there are diseases hidden in the ice and they're waking up. Literally, like there's bacteria and all kinds of these microbes that have been frozen for thousands of years are now waking up. So it says here uh, throughout history, humans have existed side by side with bacteria and viruses. From the bubonic plague to smallpox, we've evolved to resist them, and in response, we have developed new ways of infecti infecting us. We've had antibiotics from a century, ever since Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin. In response, the bacteria have responded by evolving antibiotic resistance. The battle is endless because we spend so much time with pathogens, we sometimes develop a kind of natural stalemate. So, anyways, not to bore you, but. Uh, it's crazy how, again, it's like a 12 year old boy died from getting infected from an animal that had been dead for 70 years. And that's just one of the things. So they, we got microbes waking up in the north. We've got uh, the climate impact. So we've got the, so my main point of this video was to talk about uh, climate change concerns and how the Arctic is being affected and uh, Canada and the Arctic and, and the northern Russia as well warming up way faster than everywhere else and uh, the release of methane and carbon dioxide from the thawing permafrost will accelerate global warming and add up to 70 tons to the world oh, 70, oh, 70 trillion dollars of the world's climate bill according to the most advanced study yet of the economic consequences of melting the arctic and so the, there's countries trying to fall in line with the paris agreement but still a lot of countries are not a lot of people are denying it the calculate the economic of course the, there's economics being affected by this too and i was reading another study that um consisted of you know, when people talk about polar bears dying, they don't really care. But when you talk about them not getting their morning coffee, they're interested. So the issue is, so the Arctic permafrost is melting 70 years sooner than expected. Study finds permafrost is, so just so you know what permafrost is, uh, permafrost is land that is frozen solid for two or more years at a time. And a lot of the permafrost that's melting is thousands of years old. This is the first time it's melted in thousands of years. That's why they're finding mammoths buried in the ice. And yeah, they found a 43,000 year old wolf's head preserved by permafrost found in Siberia. Now let's get the picture. This is the thing here. Look how big it is. Apparently it's 33% bigger than today's the biggest of today's wolves. So this thing is a gigantic head. The, uh, they figure it's about 40,000 years old. What's discovered in northern Russia with its ears, fangs, and brain and, to and tongue perfectly intact in permafrost. Scientists believe the beast from the Ice Age belonged to a now extinct subspecies of wolf that lived during the same area as, as mammoths. The furry head of the wolf was found in the Russian Arctic region of Yakushia last summer according to the Russian newspaper the Siberian Times the wolf said is about 40 centimeters long 16 inches 
and the wolf was estimated between to be between the ages of two and four when it died. This is a unique discovery of the first ever remains of a fully grown Pleistocene wolf with its tissue preserved. So, pretty amazing. So this is the kind of stuff that's coming out for the frozen ice. I mean, and on one hand it's pretty cool, on the other hand it's scary what it's going to do to the weather. Yeah, and talk about uh, f weird weather. This one happened uh, recently. Giant hail hammers Munich like gunshots. Witnesses in Munich reported chunks of ice the size of tennis balls hitting the Bavarian city, breaking car windows and damaging houses. Other reports in Germany were also hit by storms. Look at this. Several people, including a seven-year-old child, were injured in the hailstorm that hit southern Germany on Monday, police in Bavaria said. Houses were flooded due to heavy rain and damage by hail, which meteorologists described as being five centimeters in size. Some witnesses, however, reported hail the size of tennis balls, pounding cars on the Federal Highway in Bavaria, smashing car windows and mirrors like a, it's a car window. This is the flooding. Uh, giant hail balls flooding flying branches on the high lunar. Others posted videos of hail pounding residential areas in the city. Let's see if we can play it. Well, it's big hail. I mean, the weather's been pretty crazy lately, so. Anyways, that's all I got for now. I'm going to post some more stories like this and stuff that's been interesting to me. I really like to delve more into this stuff here about the permafrost and how it's affecting the world. Uh, if you're interested, uh, keep watching my next video. And thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Thanks for visiting.